Steph doing this thing too, but I seen uh Anthony Edwards. They say Anthony Edwards the next Michael Jordan. They been saying it. And, um, yeah, I seen that little play where he pump fake oh, don't buddy man. And threw it on and, <laughs> that shit didn't even look real, <laughs> bro. That didn't even look real. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It looked like when they put a string on the player inside a movie, and the way he exploded though, like the 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 explosiveness at the angle to go get the ball off of a dead stop. It ain't that people haven't thrown it off the backboard themselves, but just how explosive it looked, that was bro, that was crazy. Yeah, he out there playing NBA street with these folks. <laughs> his, confidence on, yeah. his confidence is on another level, and, I, and somebody got to step up. I mean, you know what? They... You know, the thing is, the crazy part, it's hard to watch both sports. Like, I, it ain't, but it is. You know what I'm saying? I know they come in on different seasons. But, like, when when I was younger, basketball was, like, the ultimate thing. I can watch football, but not really care. We can, I'd rather go outside and play it. Yeah. But as you get older, foot, for me anyway, football becomes, it's like football becomes the dominant sport for me. And basketball, I'll watch it. Be, it's too many games of basketball. You know what I'm saying? You can watch too many different games. You too many teams. You gotta, you yeah. gotta have like a really. You really gotta be a fan of a team, and a diehard fan of that team, and really watch them. But if you trying to watch it from like an analyst standpoint and watch all the games and all that and keep up with everything, you really gotta start that in college too. You gotta know these dudes when they come mm -hmm. in college that they went to, how they coming in. You gotta really follow it. Um, I think it's easier to be a fan of basketball when you are a fan. That's why. I, people really be fans of the squad. You know what I mean? Um, football, you can be a fan, obviously a diehard fan because they have diehard fans, but you got people who just a fan of football. They just want to watch a good football game. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so, you know. Hey, you, can't, you can't beat football. Though. I ain't going to lie. It's something about football, man. <laughs> it's something about football. it. Man. The Super Bowl be, it's like the one of the biggest events. They do the stats. I think, uh, so the Super Bowl, um, Kevin Hart and them was talking about this on one of their things, and they had actually put up the stats. So I think the Super Bowl is at, at the Super Bowl. I don't think I know the Super Bowl is at the top, and I think the FIFA Cup and there's something else. Hey, P, before we even go any further, look, P, I'm gonna have this gonna be just a quick uh segue for people and uh. This is where I want the comments at. This is where the comments come at. I don't know if y'all ever played this game. Black card revoked. So what I'm gonna do, people, every time we come on, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a question. And um I'm gonna leave it for the comments and we're gonna we're gonna come back and see what the answer is. So today's question is Who is your all time favorite movie thug? A, Nino Brown. I already know that. Jack City. I ain't never even B, heard him, but I know who it is. B, Doughboy from Boys in the Hood. C, Bishop it's from Juice. Tupac. Or D, Tony Montana, Scarface. Uh oh. Put your answers in the comments, man. Oh shit. <laughs> See, off top, I, off top, it was Tupac. Now, Nino Brown and Doughboy is honorable mission. Well, off top is Bishop. Until you said, oh, until you said Scarface, you know, like Jay Z say, Scarface the actor did more than Scarface the rapper to me. All right, man. So y'all heard the question: Who is your all-time favorite movie thug? Out Nino I, Brown. I know on the list, Tupac was. I knew Bishop for sure, but. You know, I don't know. Something I don't that even know how you just no, old no old dog, no uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know how you just slide slide past Nino Brown like that. I know, I know. People will say Nino Brown, <laughs> but you know that bullshit. New Jack City was really placed upon this place we call Crack City, Oakland, Cali. We act shitty. Uh, that's Jug Mouth, and he talking about um Felix Mitchell. So that's really off Felix Mitchell from Six Nine Ville. 
You know, uh, no. Do you know the real? Do you know the real Nino Brown came from Detroit? He, the real well, Nino Brown, his brother came. From, it, it, his name wasn't Nino Brown, but they came from Detroit. Well, see, and, they, and they, can, they say, huh? uh, well, you know, Oakland. They, yeah, well, yeah, they, yeah I know it's based off about, but, Michigan. Yeah, but no, nah, it was based off these two brothers in Detroit that really had the had really had the lines wrong, uh, lined up. Well, that's how the village was. Else. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Huh. But that the the two people that was based off of a, a group of brothers in Detroit that they oh, that they they right. made the movie off of. But I mean, Oakland is Oakland, man. You can't you know Oakland. Yeah, Oakland ain't Oakland. nothing but history, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, yeah, you can't skip past. Uh, that's why I said honorable mention. But I knew two was gonna be on there. They could have took dope. They could have really left dope boy out, in my opinion, and put old dog in. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, no, 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 nothing against Ice Cube. You know what I'm saying? But Doughboy, in that movie, he wasn't even really the main. He wasn't gangster. Yeah, he you could have Doughboy like that anyway. You could have kept because I think Monster was the bigger uh, gangster in that movie. Yeah, so you, you could have put yeah. uh, you could have put Old Dog on that list. Old Dog, you could have threw Queen Latifah in that motherfucker, really. <laughs> yeah, set it off. <laughs> but, the, but but that would be a crazy list. Old Dog, uh, Nino Brown. Mm -hmm. You, I already knew Bishop without you even saying the list. I knew he was on there. And Man, but what? Birdie, but was Bishop? Was Bishop Mark? It could have been Birdie from above the rim. Same dude though. I either way, it's Tupac. Just saying, different characters, though. I mean, I know Pac, oh, me. it got Pac is on there off top. I know that. You know what I mean? And yeah. both of these is classic. So have your then pick. You got Scarface. I mean, really. I see, when they do Scarface, they're trying to be funny, though, because that's a curveball for real. Because you see, the first couple actors was us, and then, but they mm -hmm. know us, everybody gravitated to the to the Scarface. So, hey. Hey, so y'all leave y'all answers in the comments, man. Hey, and leave in the comments who should have been on that list. Like how we just said, oh, dog, it's, I'm sure it's some a couple that we're not thinking about that should have been on that list. Oh, hey. dog should have been on the list. So that's your black car revoked, man. So the the uh, the majority wins on that. So leave your comments because the majority is the winner. Man, um, I, I, that's a tough one because even though I, I don't want to discount Nino Brown, I threw old dog on the list. I already knew Tupac, so I gotta go with that. But I want to go with Scarface too because I know how many votes Scarface would get and how you know what I'm saying. So I, I, I think I gotta go with Pac because that's what came uh, to my head before you even said the list. I I knew Pac was gonna be on the list. Yeah, I knew you. I knew you was gonna say Pac. Really, I knew you was gonna say Pac. I know. I know how it goes, but it's like, damn. I mean, to be Nino Brown was. I like Nino Brown. You know what I'm saying? I like the Nino, but then Scarface, I mean, it was a... So it, what if Old Dog was on the list? Listen, man, we used to play games, me and Old Dog and Kane, so <laughs> 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 that might be hands down. Um, uh, shit, I think I think MC8 in that movie, I think that movie, period. They, you see, they didn't put nobody, they could have put MC8 just for that one part. Hey, yeah. homie, you need some help. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They could have just put him in there for that part right there. And, and I'm trying to think of one more. It's one more we forgetting that's supposed to be on the list. Y'all let us know, but I know it's one more. What movie are you thinking about? Nah, I, I just know in the back. You know how something be in the back of your head. I don't know what the movie is, but I, I know it's one more that's a classic that is a standout performance that we not thinking about. And I and I and I and I, I don't know. Denzel Washington, Tank Training Day. Was no. he that really a thug though? And is that far mm. enough back? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's I don't not know. far enough back. I don't know. But somebody will tell us, and we gonna go. Oh, because you know, yeah. you had, uh, colors and all that. You know what I mean? But mm, yeah, yeah, not colors yeah, though. Uh, I mean, I can't really think that, of who that villain that, was in that, colors. I'm trying to think of another class. Uh, anyway, but I know old dog. Old dog should probably be on that list instead of um Doughboy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I like the Doughboy too, but but technically, even though it's a comedy, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> you don't think Debo represent? Think how many people call themselves Debo today. Debo was a bully. How many Debo's you know though? Debo a was a bully. Got that nickname Debo after Debo. It's yeah. So I know it's a comedy. Yeah, but if Debo would have ran across an old dog or a birdie or a, or or a bishop, they would have they would have knocked Debo ass down. Yeah. <laughs> he would have got some bad hands doing all that play. Debo would have been got his big ass yeah, knocked yeah. down. <laughs> Playing I mean, football, I mean, yeah. You I mean, what? like yeah, so then you have to start thinking if you put them in the same movie, right? If you put old dog versus a bishop versus a birdie versus a, mm-hmm. a, a dull boy versus mm-hmm. a scarface versus mm-hmm. a dino you brown versus a uh omar versus a avon barksdale and versus see them not avon. movies though now we're going into I, I, I mean but hell look man hey you can't leave uh you can't leave avon and marlo out of there marlo. from the wire that's that that you can't leave them out of there because because look man you seen you seen how they was getting down? So uh, you said Debo, man, they would have knocked Debo ass down. Yeah, they'd have knocked, he'd have been knocked down, or he'd have been working. They would have, <laughs> yeah, he would have been security. Yeah, yeah, he'd have been working for one of them because they would have knocked Debo ass down. And, and now, when you said like too. that, Nino Brown and Scarface is definitely at the top of that. Because really, if you think about it, Old Dog would have been working for Nino Brown, but. At the same time, though, they solo soldiers, old dog, and um, and 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 and, and uh, not birdie, um, bishop. bishop. Solo, they solo soldiers, though. So that's kind of you know what's the name Scarface and them is like they they had honchos running the army, but then you know some of their biggest nemesis sometimes be the dudes who solo soldiers and don't bow down to nobody. Like you can't tell them nothing. You know what I mean? And they and they solo soldiers. They stand on their own and they demand they respect from a whole different standpoint. So it's so it's you know what I'm saying it's interesting when you you know what I mean. Hey, honorable mention, Martin. When Martin was Nino Brown and he had the little fake rock roller. <laughs> Sorry, the fake dog. And it's like he was walking around the table. <laughs> Which is one of my favorite episodes, by the way. Um... <laughs> Hey man, Martin is a fool. Oh man, I'm so sure that was that we missing, but y'all let me know. I, I'm the question sure of the day. Me, I bet you my brother would go in the comments and tell me. He'd probably be like, y'all, hey. know, so let me know. Hey man, y'all leave that in the comments, man. Who's your favorite movie thug? Man, that's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna be looking for them comments too. For sure.